Hi this is Anagha Mutka. In today's episode, we'll be exploring some of the fantastic new features and improvements in the DaVinci Resolve 19 color palette. In our previous episode, we briefly touched upon new features that were introduced in the Fairlight and Fusion pages. In case you missed it, you can find the link to these episodes in the description box below. Let's first check out the defocus background effect. With this effect, one can conveniently blur the background of an image while also having access to a variety of tools that allow us to simulate the shallow depth of field as if you were shooting with a camera. I have done a basic grade. Add a new node to mask out the crows from the background using the magic mask. Before applying the defocus effect, it's necessary to separate the foreground subject from the background by creating a mask. On a separate node, I'll add a power window to mask out the mid and foreground as I want them to be in focus along with the crows. Combine the two masks with the key mixer and add the output to alpha channel of the next node. Then apply the defocus background on the node and adjust the mask accordingly to soften the edges and add more contrast. Finally, add the desired amount of blur in the background. One can also reduce the saturation of the background and add a tint or tone with color eyes. In advanced option, choose between Gaussian and lens blur as the blur type. That was really cool. Now let's check out the Ultra NR noise reduction tool. Ultra NR is an AI based noise reduction tool that targets the real world video noise patterns for optimum reduction of noise without totally softening the picture. To apply this effect, add a new node, go to motion effects, spatial NR, change the mode to Ultra NR and hit analyze. It automatically analyzes a flat image area to detect luma chroma noise levels and set sliders accordingly. The AI analysis point is indicated by a white square outline on your clip. You can manually move the patch and also adjust its size by dragging the handles to detect the luma chrome noise level. One can also manually change these levels. Let's check its effect on the shadow areas. Now let's check out the Film Look Creator. The Film Look Creator is a resolve effect that replicates the motion picture film stock. It creates a basic film look which can be customized using tools like contrast, saturation, hue, and exposure adjustments and different film emulation tools. The color blend slider affects the color setting and the split tone and the effects blend slider controls the spatial effects. Enabling 3D LUT compatible removes the spatial effect options that are not present in a 3D LUT. Color space overrides lets you control input output gammas and color spaces of the effect for a display referred workflow that changing these won't apply any tone mapping. By default, the option Use Timeline matches the color space from the Project Settings Color Management section. The preset feature sets all control to apply automatically. Default No Effects enables Blackmagic Film Look and disables other effects. Film Look Creator Tool combines various Film Look tools into a single resolve effect with a simplified toolset. If you need more controls over a particular aspect of the look, you can disable the effect module 
and use a dedicated resolve effect instead. Now it's time for the color slice tool. The color slice tool increases the saturation of the image without increasing the brightness, thereby making the colors look rich, deep and filmic. Color slice divides the color wheel into six slices, red, green, blue, cyan, magenta and yellow, and an additional vector for skin tone. Rather than impacting all colors uniformly, density amplifies the strength of colors that are less vivid in a selective manner while leaving the colors that are already vivid largely unaltered. Click the icon to activate Highlights view and refine the parameters below by shifting the center for better results. Pair it with Highlight view to qualify specific colors. So let's get a little more in-depth about what the density sliders do. Those who are new to Resolve may not know what color density is and what color timing meant. The density and the other sliders help you create cinematic deep red and deep blues and bring your image close to how film was processed in the olden times. In the past, the amount of time the negative stayed in the developing solution determined the quality of the exposure of the film. The time it stayed in the solution was termed as timing. The rich and deep saturation that you see in films cannot be just replicated through the saturation and color boost sliders as you can see here. The density slider and others help you achieve the original deep reds and blues. Although this tool is not new to DaVinci Resolve, but having a dedicated panel is a great way to tackle deep and rich colors and a quick way to change the selected color and the hue to your taste and liking. This tool has simplified an otherwise lengthy procedure. Now, let's check out some features of the face refinement effect. This effect now has better tracking, profile handling and smooth skin options. First, you need to identify the face or faces you wish to work on. Click detect faces in frame. Now let's track the face. In case you need to make any slight adjustment in the track, keyframe the first and the last correct point and then press the interpolate button. The outline will turn blue to let you know that you are in the manual mode. Then you can proceed to the problematic frame and adjust it manually by clicking and dragging or by selecting and adjusting each individual feature as needed. Now uncheck the interpolate keyframed box and let the automatic tracker take over. With the skin isolation controls, you can modify the skin mask that the plugin generates automatically. This helps in limiting the effect to only the face of the person you want to target. In the skin texture control, you can select from three operating modes. The Beauty Automatic and the Beauty Advanced mode provide the texture control that are available in the Beauty plugin, while the Smoothing mode offers the texture adjustment controls that were previously available. The skin grading controls let you make color adjustment to the overall face. The side lighting controls enable you to add light to shadows or highlight them or even out the light on both sides of the face. The eyeshadow controls allow you to adjust the eyelids and sockets without altering the eyes. You can use them to remove under eye bags or create realistic eye makeup. The controls for the upper and the lower eyelid areas are separate. The forehead, cheeks and chin retouching controls borrow a technique from portrait painters to render skin hues. Faces are not a single uniform hue, so individual regions may require adjustments. Allowing for some hue variation can achieve a more natural looking result. So in this episode, we briefly touched upon some of the new features of the DaVinci Resolve 19 color page. So that's all for this episode. For now, bye, take care and see you.